Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Hallie and I'm so happy that you're here. First of all, long time no see. Hello besties. <laughs> I literally just disappeared off the face of the earth last month. I'm so sorry about that. I will have further explanation in upcoming videos. It's just honestly been a month. I haven't uploaded anything. I haven't recorded. We're just gonna breeze right past that and move right on into April <laughs> with my April TBR. These are all the books that I want to read in April or I'm excited to read or I hope to get to whatever. Honestly, I don't know how this month is going to go reading wise because last month was so weird. I don't know. These are just, I really hope that I read these, but who knows how this month is going to go. I don't. So anyway, moving right along, the first two books on my April TBR I actually found because of today's sponsor. So thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. The amount of serotonin that I got whenever I received this blue package. I'm so excited. If you don't already know what Book of the Month is, their mission is to help readers discover new books that they'll love while also promoting new and emerging authors. They offer the best prices for new release hardcovers, and for a limited time, when you join, you can actually get your first book for only $5 when you use the code PASTEL. I will have that on screen here as well as linked down below in my description box. Every single month, their editorial team reads through hundreds of new titles, and they pick some of the best new books for you to choose from. If you are a newer reader like me, I think that you'll really appreciate Book of the Month because they really help readers find books that they otherwise wouldn't have discovered on their own, especially because their selections focus on new and upcoming authors. It really helps readers step out of the genres that they typically read. Like, I have been in such a fantasy mood recently, like I've only been wanting to read fantasies, which I love, but I'm also trying to like remember to read other genres as well because there's so much that I still have to discover. They have highly anticipated releases at the beginning of every single month, and it always comes in this gorgeous little bright blue box, which I just love so much. This makes it so much funner. Funner? Hello? <laughs> makes it so much better, the fact that it also comes in a cute little package. It's perfect. They also actually just released curated audiobooks in addition to the hardcovers. You can choose, download, and listen right in the Book of the Month app. So now that there are two formats, each month you're able to choose whether you want to do the audiobook or the hardcover for that month. Now to really quickly show you guys the books that I chose, I am so excited for these. Honestly, it was really hard to choose because so many of the options just were like calling my name, but I really am so excited about the books that I chose. So first we have a YA mystery thriller, The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. I'm so excited. I really love Holly Jackson's writing. This one is basically about 18 year old Belle. 16 years ago, Rachel Price vanished and Belle was the only one to witness, but she also has no memory of it. The case is dragged up from the past when the Price family agrees to do a true crime documentary. Belle can't wait for filming to end, for life to go back to normal, and then the impossible happens. Rachel Price reappears and life will never be normal again. I'm so excited for this. This sounds so interesting. The next book that I chose is actually a contemporary romance, but it is called The Husbands by Holly Gramazio. This is actually her debut novel. This one says, when Lauren returns home to her flat in London late one night, she is greeted at the door by her husband, Michael. There's only one problem. She's not married. She's never seen this man before in her life, but according to her friends, her much improved decor and the photos on her phone, they've been together for years. As Lauren tries to puzzle out how she could be married to someone she can't remember meeting, Michael goes to the attic to change a light bulb and abruptly disappears. In his place, a new man emerges. A new, slightly altered life reforms around her. Realizing that her attic is creating an infinite supply of husbands, Lauren confronts the question. If swapping lives is as easy as changing a light bulb, how do you know you've taken the right path? And when do you stop trying to do better and start actually living? That just sounds so interesting. So again, make sure to visit bookofthemonth.com and join to get your first book for only $5 when you use code PASTEL. All of that information, the link, the code, everything will be available, like I said, down in my description box below. So make sure you go and click that. I highly, highly recommend you check them out, especially while they have this deal going on. I am so excited to read these books this month. And thank you again so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the rest of the books that I picked for my April TBR. Since we did just talk romance. I actually put three other romances on my TBR. I really want to try and get back into romance. It's not that I've been fully out of romance. I just, the only thing that's been tickling my fancy. <laughs> I hate that. Anyway, the only thing that's really been doing it for me recently has been fantasy, like romanticy and thrillers, weirdly. But I feel like all three of these romances that I chose are giving me spring vibes. And so it's kind of the perfect time to give them a try. So first off, we have Emily Henry's Happy Place. I know that a lot of people feel like this is summer vibes, but for some reason, the pink is just giving spring. Like it matches my little spring top. It's spring. Anyway, we all know what this is about. This is about Harriet and Wen. The fact that I can remember the main character's name 
names just from hearing people talk about it is insane because I don't even remember the main characters' names from books that I've like read and loved. So that shows you how much I have heard about this book from other people. You basically follow Harriet and Wen. They are part of a large friend group and every single year they go on an annual trip to this like beach house, I'm pretty sure. This year the beach house is getting sold and so this will definitely be like their last trip to the beach house. But the only thing is Harriet and Wen just broke up and they don't want to ruin the last vacation there. And so they decide to just like pretend to be together and try to make it through the vacation. I'm pretty sure that that is the entire premise of this book, but it is like extremely emotional. And I don't know, a lot of people just rave about this book. And so I have very high expectations. I've never read an Emily Henry book before. So I'm very excited to give it a try. I know two of my friends really, really love Emily Henry's books. So very, very excited to try this one. I really hope that I like it. The next two that we have are actually both cowboy romances, which is so funny, but we have Powerless by Elsie Silver. So this is the, what number is this? Either the third or the fourth book in the Chestnut Springs series. I'm very excited about this one in particular because in this one you're following, what's his name? Jasper? You're following Jasper, which is actually the Eaton's friend. So it's not, it's like it is a cowboy romance because he, because it's, hold on, what is going on right now? <laughs> the first two books follow Rhett and Cade Eaton, okay? All the books follow like the Eaton brothers. They also have a sister. The sister is dating the family friend in this book. Does, does that make sense? Anyway, I'm excited for this one because the male main character in this one is a hockey player. And so I feel like this is so fun because it's combining like hockey romance and cowboy romance. I don't know if they actually in hockey in this one, like they might be on the off season or something. Honestly, I don't know. I think they go on a road trip their childhood friends. I don't know. The next one we have is actually a newer release. It is Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. First of all, the cover is so cute. I love the cover art for this whole series. They just announced the cover art for the third book as well, which I just, I love them all. This is the second book in the, what is this called? Rebel Blue Ranch, I think. Yeah. So this is the Rebel Blue Ranch series. The first one was done and dusted and I loved that book. And I think that the only reason that it meant more to me is because the main character in that one has ADHD. And so I felt very like connected to the main character in that way because I could just relate to her about so much throughout the book. So I am very, very excited. I loved Lila Sage's writing in the first one. It was such a quick and easy read. And I think that this one is honestly even shorter than that one. Yeah, it's only 289 pages. So it'll just be a nice little quick and easy read in between some of these bigger books that I have on my TBR. I don't know anything else about this book, but because it's the second book in the series, I want to read it. Moving on, this one I'm so excited about. We have The Night Swim by Megan Goldwyn. If you have been watching from the beginning of my channel, you know that the very first time that I went book shopping with you guys, the worker at the Half Price Books actually recommended this book for me. And so I just like, I really love this. It was like the cutest old man. I have been looking forward to reading this so much. And actually, whenever I got this book in that vlog, a lot of you guys recommended that I listen to the audiobook for this because I guess a large portion of this book is about like a podcast that is covering a murder or a death or a mysterious death or something like that. So I actually do plan on listening to the audiobook of this this month, either like while reading or maybe I'll just only listen to the audiobook if I'm really liking it. But yeah, I am very, very excited for this one. This one says, ever since her true crime podcast became an overnight sensation and set an innocent man free, Rachel Kroll has become a household name and the last hope for people seeking justice. But she's used to being recognized for her voice, not her face, which makes it all the more unsettling when she finds a note on her car windshield addressed to her, begging her for help. Now that sounds interesting. I like how I'm like, ooh, that sounds interesting. Like I haven't already read that at some point and like decided to, whatever. The last two books, I'm so sad that I didn't get to last month, but I just like did not. I could not. I will talk about it later. But we have A Court of Frost and Starlight, which this is the... Can somebody tell me, is this technically the fourth book in the series or is this considered like 3.5 because it's a novella? Like is this book four or is this book five? Is this 3.5 or four? Somebody let me know. But anyway, we have A Court of Frost and Starlight. So like I said, this is either book 3.5 or book four <laughs> in the Akatar series. It's just a quick little novella. Like I said, I know a lot of people skip this, but I think I've mentioned this before. I literally could never. I just could not go on knowing that there is information that I have missed. And my sister and her friend both read the novella Actually, no, all of my friends also read the novella and they said it was really cute and sweet. So I'm like, yeah, we'll be reading this. I'm very excited. I actually have read a chapter of this and I'm already just like right back into the world. <sighs> you guys, the way that the Akatar series has had an absolute chokehold on me 
Like when I tell you, I have listened to the A Court of Mist and Fury audiobook at least three or four times since I read the book the first time. And it just like, it still gives me butterflies. It's still, I just, I think about them every day. I literally want to start the series over already and reread it and I haven't even finished it completely. And every single day, the obsession just keeps growing stronger. So <laughs> this is truly, not this book specifically, but this series as a whole has truly become my only personality and I'm not mad at it. But yes, so we have A Court of Frost and Starlight and then the last book that is currently out in the series, which is A Court of Silver Flames. She is a little thicky. She is not a little thicky. She's a lot of thicky. She's a big girl, but I'm not even mad at it because I love this series so much. Yeah, 750 pages of pure happiness. And I'm so excited because this, I don't want to say the character that it's about because I heard what character it was about beforehand and I feel like I kind of wish I didn't know who this book was following beforehand. So I won't say it. I'm sure that you'll see it somewhere else on the internet because it's just, there's spoilers everywhere. Like you have to be so careful. There's spoilers everywhere for this series. But in case you don't already know who this book follows, it just follows a different character than the main character of the first three books, Akatar, Aka. Akamoff and Akawar, and I'm so excited to see this character's point of view because I feel like a lot of people didn't like this book. Like, I feel like you either love or hate it. I feel like what I've seen on the internet, the general consensus, is you either loved or hated this book. Like, there really is no in-between. It's very aggressively like, I did not like this book at all. Like, every other book in the series is so good. Or like, yes, I ate this book up. I loved it so much. Give me more. Which I feel like I'm gonna be on that end because from what I've seen of this character, I already love the character. So, highly, highly anticipating this one as well. So that brings us to the end of the video. These are all the books that I want to read in April. Honestly, there's more books that I like have my eye on, but after a month of not posting, I didn't want to be a psychopath and put so, I mean, this is a lot of books already. Let's be honest. Who knows what I'll get up to this month. If you want to see me read any of these books, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notifications so you don't miss further uploads from me. I hope that this video was good. It feels so weird to be recording after a month, but I have missed you guys so, so much. Also, let me just say thank you so much to everybody who left comments, just like asking if I was okay and like mentioning that you noticed that I was gone. You're so sweet. <laughs> it's honestly so crazy that you guys care enough to check on me whenever I'm gone and you notice when I'm gone. That means so much to me and so I wanted to make sure to say thank you so much to everybody who said something to me. I am okay. A lot went on. We're okay and I am making my return this month so I can't wait to read these with you guys and share videos for this month. Thank you again so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the link in my description and use the code pastel to get five dollars off of your first book. That's crazy. I'm so excited for this month of reading. I hope you guys are too. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.